Death Valley. Uh, I have never been here before and I don't know what to expect <laughs> other than uh, there's a few options if you have a dog. Right, Boo? I know. Um, but we just got through the entrance where it's stovepipe wells. There's a gas station, restaurant, some lodging. Um, I'm not really staying here. I'm actually on my way towards the visitor center, which I think is on the eastern side. Um, and yeah, this is like a campground as well. I am paying for camping this trip only because I'm going to some hot springs and it's $30 for a day pass for the hot springs or 35 to camp and use all the amenities. So um, I'm gonna spend the day in the park and uh, just see where we get up to. Um, I am limited because of the dog, so she can't go on any of the major trails or anything like that, but um, they post all their dog rules online and there are some dog friendly areas. So um, yeah, we're gonna hang out here. I came here last minute decision late last night because the temperature today and tomorrow, and I think the following day is like 81 as the high. And then it jumps up to over a hundred, probably for the rest of the summer in a couple days. So this might be my only chance to really be here when it's not brutally hot. Boo, I know, I know. And so, <laughs> got motorcycles. So anyways, yeah, that's the plan. We're just gonna hang out here, spend most of the day, then head to uh, a nearby city. I think closer to the Nevada side and uh, yeah, enjoy the nice weather and a new national park for me. Right dog? Right? I know, she just wants to go on a walk. So we're gonna walk. go to the lowest point on earth is it earth or the continent <laughs> i don't know the hottest place on earth it's not that hot today uh turn okay. left onto Ooh. california all right we're turning left so i found a sticker um i took i went like four times around the store and i finally asked and they told me it was in the one spot i didn't look closely so uh it's appropriate that there's a dead animal skull for death valley so that is, um, yeah, that's one of the things I want to get at all the national parks I go to. And I am at a quarter tank. Pro tip, the desert doesn't have a lot of gas stations. So uh, top off your car <laughs> anytime you see one, even if you don't need to. So I have, I have a quarter of a tank down, so I'm just going to top off and then we're going to head towards, I think, Badwater Basin, which is the lowest point. I think it's like over 2,000, or sorry, over 200 uh, feet below. Oh, geez. I can't talk and back up at the same time. Right, Bill? So, uh, yeah, we're going to head there, I think, and then the visitor center and then see where else we should go based off of what we learned at the visitor center. So... So shortly after I left the gas station, I noticed a sign for the Mesquite Flat Dunes. And while I assumed that they wouldn't be dog friendly, I thought maybe I could pull off and see something. Um, again, something interesting about Death Valley, many people or first time visitors kind of are surprised that the entire Death Valley area or just the desert in general isn't covered with sand. And according to the government website with uh, Death Valley, um, less than 1% of the desert is covered with dunes. So um, the shadowed ripples and kind of the stark, graceful curves that define that desert image that we all have um, is actually pretty rare here. So you can actually get out here and walk around. I didn't want to leave the dog in the car. It's not dog friendly, but um, 
if I go back without a dog, I would definitely probably take a walk out. There are some really cool sand dunes in other parts of the desert in California that are not restrictive on dogs, to my understanding. So maybe we'll do those at some point down the road. restroom see if there's a map but there were rangers that were like helping someone right at the entrance so I'm not sure if someone's sick uh, I don't know seems very strange but there is a sign here that says bad, bad water is 18 miles um, and there's a lot of rangers and highway patrol around here I didn't know highway, highway patrol yeah there's also a golf course and another um, gas station uh, yeah, so I just decided to not go in because I didn't want to like Get in the way, you know Anyways, so we're gonna try and go towards Badwater because I think that's one of the more popular places um, the lowest point on earth and 
Oh, the ranch at Death Valley. I think this is a really nice hotel in case you don't want to camp. <laughs> Which, you know, I get it. One of the places on my list to stop by was Artist Palette. I had seen photos of it. I just think it looked really interesting. And fortunately they have a scenic loop that you can take. You can get out of your car at certain points or you can stay in your car in the entire time if it's too hot. Um, so this is where we're actually headed to and I thought I would share a little bit of information before we get there. Um, basically behind this unassuming la yellow landscape, this kind of rainbow of colors, there's red, orange, yellow, blue, pink, and green, is kind of splashed around these hills. And my camera doesn't really pick up the color quite well. I think there are different times of day that pick up the color better, but you can kind of see just a tint. Um, it doesn't seem very striking until you're there and you realize that this is completely natural and it's just very random. So here we are. I'm actually going to pull aside so that I can get out, walk around, let the dog out, not take the trail, but kind of just take a break from driving. strong gusts and I had the, the back open and then all of a sudden my one of my my big window shade for the front went flying and I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> I'm like get out of the car dog <laughs> right I know you don't like the wind okay we're gonna go keep on this drive this is a really cool area um but I'm trying not to take her on any major trails because this isn't one she's allowed on so I'm gonna keep driving and uh yeah it's beautiful it's it's beautiful weather it's 79 degrees right now or at least at this spot so onward and upward or downward I'm not sure So I'm about to get to the more colorful part of this scenic loop 
Um, here you can see there's another dog owner that uh, needed to take their dog for a quick walk and still try and follow the rules and keep them off the trails. But this is a really um, interesting loop. It takes about 30 minutes from start to finish. And I'm about to come up on an area that I am going to actually leave the dog, but I can still see her. Um, I did <laughs> briefly get out just because the winds were so strong against the car. And I just wanted to show how crazy it was uh, for me and the dog with just the intensity just being blown around in and out outside of the car. But the colors that we're about to see um, are actually volcanic deposits that are rich in compounds such as iron oxides and uh, chlorite, which kind of create this rainbow effect. So I highly recommend this loop if you do or don't have a dog. Um, I think this is a perfect um, kind of scenic thing to do if you don't want to get out of the car, but you can at certain parts as well. So. So this area is called Devil's Golf Course, and uh, it's not a golf course. <laughs> it's, um, it's actually an immense area of rock salt eroded by wind and rain into kind of these jagged spires. Um, so incredibly serrated that only the devil could play golf on such rough links is how they describe it on the government website. But it was also incredibly windy here as was anything kind of in this valley floor um and i didn't really want to let luna go too far um so we just kind of stayed on this little dirt road went for a little walk and tried to survive not getting blown away but it is definitely one of the more interesting landscapes of death valley um just because it is just really weird <laughs> it feels like mars so anyways it was a nice little break and uh, but we couldn't deal with the wind much longer so we decided to get back in the car and head out oh man What do you think, Boo? I think I have dirt in my mouth. Okay, well, if you want the wind blown, look. Death Valley in April is where it's at. Uh, there was a cute couple from Arizona. They were driving a Jeep. They pulled up after me. And as they were walking out, I was trying to get a picture of the car with the weird background. And, uh, and he's, he rolls down his window and he's like, you know, it's a little windy out. <laughs> It's just like all over. Anyways, if I tie it up, then it even annoys me more. So we're just gonna we're just gonna let it do its thing. And uh, yeah, where are we off to next, Boo? More of Mars? That's what it feels like.
so we're at Badwater Basin, which is um, kind of one of the main destinations in this park. And I knew it wasn't dog friendly to walk out um, on the salt flats with her. I didn't know if there was going to be like a different area I could go to that would be close to it, but um, it's 87 degrees. It's not a good idea to leave her in the car. Um, so I'm just going to have to look at it from afar and uh, I will try and insert a photo and uh, reference the person that I took it from down below. Um, I'll pop it up here. But anyways, I think um, it's definitely a long walk. Not on the planks. The planks are pretty like short and then you get to the salt flats and then you, I think you can walk out to where it's really kind of a little bit more remote farther from the parking area. But uh, yeah, it's still windy. <laughs> People are getting blown around and I'm not sure if I keep going on Badwater Road or if I turn around. I think this is kind of the main thing, but I think I'll go a little bit further to see if there's anything like another viewpoint maybe. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. And I've got to find a lunch spot, but I might just make lunch and then eat in the car because it's just too windy outside. So. So I think that's it for this video. I'm actually just outside of where I'm staying tonight, which I don't know if it's called Tacopa or Tecopa or something along those lines. Um, anyways, it was a fun day. I will definitely come back to Death Valley, not on a hot day. It wasn't bad today, but I'll come back with friends because I feel like there's no cell reception. I was a little skittish on like getting too far out uh, on my own. And, uh, but it's my first time there. I saw some fun stuff and I can't wait to go back. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna continue on. And dog, do you wanna say goodbye? She's ready to go. Okay, bye.